Out from the shadows, I'm Naked Ninja. I got a quick one for you guys today. Uh, this is going to just show the NVIDIA Shield TV Steam Streaming application that works with the uh, game streaming system on it, or the NVIDIA Game Stream. Um, for the most part, I'm going to say it, it, it's, it's pretty fucking awesome. You know, to be able to play your, your games, your PC games that is, on your big screen TV, you know, all in one system the, on the NVIDIA Shield TV. Uh, and some of it's actually in 4K, or and it's just full magnificent beauty for, you know, playing games. This is shit that I didn't have as a kid, and I'm so happy that I have it now. Even though I'm older as an adult, <laughs> I still love playing video games. And, you know, it, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, key points i got to tell you guys about this too, of course. A few things you need to have is you want to have a PC that is, is, of course, being able to play video games for the streaming part from the Steam game stream we're talking about. Now, we're not just talking about the video game stream system that you can buy for $79 in a month. Um, you need, on, on the, so your own PC, uh, preferably a GTX game card, a video game card, 750 and up. I got a 1050 uh, Ti. It's about, I think it retails for about $130. It works great, smooth, no issues at all with it. Um, I definitely would have them both wired to your network, you know. Um, I obviously have my servers connected to my network, but the Shield TV, I also have connected hardwired to it too instead of using the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi works really great, so don't worry about that. Um, but, you know, I just prefer to do this because there's a little bit of latency to it. Um, of course, another Steam account you need and uh, games. So without further ado, here's just showing how it looks and how it works. Um, there's two different ways of getting to it. The simple, the easiest way to be doing a Steam app. So, um, you know, it's a Steam game, Steam game stream application. And if you click on it, it'll pull up the Steam big picture. And if you're familiar with Steam, because you're a gamer, you'll see what I'm talking about here. Um, and so this is big picture mode. Real quick, it's going to show all my stuff, um, games I've been playing, blah, blah, blah. Go to my library just like normal because this is Steam application through games, um, Steam Big Picture. See all my games. So if I click that, it'll bring all the games. Now, if you look next to it, on the bottom right corner, as you see, uh, like this one right here, so there's a little joystick with a check mark or controller. So there's a controller on this one, and of course, on this one, there's a keyboard. So it tells you what games are keyboard compatible and what aren't. Eventually, from what I've been told and what I'm hearing in the news, is Steam is, is setting up a way that you can program your remote, if it doesn't automatically promote, uh, program your um, controller to work with games that are with keyboards. Now, obviously there's other features you can get with keyboards you're not going to get with the joysticks, but it's kind of nice. I mean, I prefer to, I mean, I, it depends what games I'm playing, I guess, to play on both of them, but I mean, I like playing both ways. Uh, this is just so much easier to be able to play just this, this way. Um, so let's just get back out of here. I'll just show a game, load on up real quick. Um, yeah, that's a simple little game right here. It works, works real well. You go up to right here, just like your, you know, your standard uh, Steam, Steam setup with the big pitch. You just go to play. Yep, I want to play it that way. It'll load it up for you. Launching it, of course, like it normally does. Sometimes you're going to see the back screen of your computer or server pull up. That's because that's what normally happens with the, uh, you know, Steam game applications. On like you have on the past, but th this is pretty awesome, being able to just play this with your, um, you know, on your big screen TV from your computer. It's flipping amazing. And I'll go through this real quick, I'll just pop it up real quick. You see bottom right, Steam Community, access while playing, so it's notifying whoever's friends with you and stuff like that on it, or anyone out there you're playing that you're playing, and it saves your progress, and Steam achievements, and all that stuff, if you're a gamer. I'll just go through. Just clicking it through it quick so we don't have to sit here through this. Press the space button to show you playing real quick, single player. This is all through my, uh, oops, let's back out of here, back out of here. Uh, single player and single fight. I'm using controller, this controller right here. Press accept it, yep. I'm just gonna click whoever it comes up first real quick for you. Show you it works. I'm sure Batman looks great. The Joker. Nope, very easy. Boom, just do it. I don't want to waste.
wait, so I'm just pressing buttons A through it to accept it real quick to get it going here. And then I'll pause it and get out. Um, you want to use the pause or play button in the middle of the joystick for it. To pause it to get out of mode. Begin. Yeah, just show it go. Alright, so there you go. That's showing how it's done. Main menu. Yes, I want to exit. And quit it out here. I'm going to show you another way real quick that you can go to. And back out of this, press B, 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 get out of it, go all the way up to the top right. That's your power button, which is stop streaming through game stream on your Steam stream. So it's done. Um, another little key feature, if you double press the circle button on, the, on your joystick, like I just did now, it's going to pull up what's running in the background. I like to turn these off if I'm not using them. Um, just like, now let's back out of here. Just because sometimes there's a hiccup on and off with it. Um, if you're always leaving it on, then it's, you know, just leave it on, fine, whatever. But, uh, you know, I keep mine in um, standby mode or sleep mode, so it'll sleep down when it's not being used. Eventually it'll do that anyway, because that's, that's what it's done as a power saving mode. So let's just hit the NVIDIA game streaming app. That's what this is right here. Um, oh, if you look right here, look, see, uh, XCOM is what I was playing. That's on my stream. And what I did is I actually added it to the NVIDIA games area, um, which, oh, there's another thing I forgot to mention. You do want to add the, you need to download the application on your computer as it tells you when you pull up this, you know, NVIDIA game setup here. If you go over here, you'll see, oh, here, we'll go to the right here, My Library Play Now. So go to My Library. If I click on it, it's going to show my game. So if I click on here, it's going to show you all the games I have connected already through. And it'll show the ones that I can play up in front. Um, you don't really need to do this, honestly. You, uh, you know, this is something I did, which you really don't. It's nice to see them there. And it, what I'll do is it actually bring it up on the front for you. Um, you can see where it's the control PC. It's my main server. Where it's at and stuff like that. You know, installed and blah, blah, blah. Which, see, and that one right there will be installed on my front. So if I back out of here, go up. Um, you can go this way, too. I can go here, playing games I just played. Or I can go here to Steam to load it up, too. So it's a back way of doing it. Um, easier, the other way is easier, but let's just get out of here and I'll show you again. And I'm clicking right here, selecting the NVIDIA games thing. So if I click it, there we go. I click on it. It's going to pull up my stuff. As you can see, they're constantly trying to sell you games. Free stuff. You know, I don't pay for stuff. I get it for free. I mean, just, you know... Um, Another good thing, if, if you're not used to it out there, always check out, it's called Humble Bum Bundle. Real good place to get games for you. Cheap and affordable. Um, here, let's just click on this. It'll pull it up again. And it pulls up my setup. That way on my computer. So the back screen, if you look right there, that's actually my shield. This way. I'm not sorry, I'm not my shield, my uh, server. So it's going to click out of here, click on here. And get back to the game. This is just one of many games. You know, what, 50 or so that I have on the system. So I think these games are very high in memory and, you know, we could put so many on them, of course. Bottom right there says access to the Steam community. Um, just letting people know I'm, I'm playing the game, just like normal, if you're used to Steam. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm back out. Quit to the main menu. Yes, I want to quit. Select day. Yeah, I just back back it out. And like I said, I like to clear it in the back in the back back there. So double double tap the circle button. You'll see what it is. I have my settings button up and I go to games. I'm gonna go ahead and press A to dismiss it. And just press B to back out of there or back in the main screen. Yeah, so that's we're just showing you the Steam game stream and NVIDIA game stream, how fluid it works. It's real sweet. Um, you know, as always, thanks for watching. You know, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. I love the comments, so keep them coming. You guys have a great day. Bye.